Yo, what's up everyone? Project Moto here, um, down at Chicati Chelmsford. Obviously we've done the unboxing video of the new Multistrada V2S, um, but now I'm going to get my gear on, have a little ride of the bike, so uh, yeah, let's crack on with the video. Right, so here it is, the Multistrada V2S. Look at that, that's it. Um, this is obviously replacing the 950, so we did do the unboxing video of this bike. Where are you going? Delivering a bike. Oh, are you? Yeah. All right. Word up. Going to the west side of the road. Nice. I'm going to take this out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he's going out now. Why don't you go in? But it's freezing, man. There's not great deals of difference. They've done a few engine changes and clutch changes, make it a little bit smoother. The seat unit and stuff's all different. It's supposed to be lower, which is a good thing because the 950 is the tallest bike. I think now it's got the Multistrada V4 wheels and mirrors on it as well. But uh, yeah, so let's get our gear on and uh, take this little baby out. Oh, and also, I can have a little go on my new lid. Wait, it's freezing. Yeah, I know. I'm going to take that out now. Just put Paul's jacket on, but I can't do my crash on me. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not back by the time you go loose, my keys are in there, they can move it. Alright, let's see with this. Turn it on. Start this up. That's my new lid look. It's cool. Alright, so this bike hasn't been ridden yet before. I'm supposed to have a smoother gearbox. Oh, my new black visor is helping me out, I tell ya. I've got to say thanks to these guys. Um, Paul and Trevor at Motor Gear, who supplied the Nolan X-Lite lids. They sent us, if you've seen the other video, they sent me and Paul one of these lids, which, um, it's, it's really quiet. And that was the problem that I moaned about with my arrow, it was just too noisy. So the seat's supposed to be lower on this, which it is. It's only about, it's not a lot lower, it's about 10 mil lower. But because the seat's thinner, you can actually reach the floor better. You might have seen the other videos that we've done on the V4, the 950, 1260. Um, I do like the 950. So now it's called the V2, which I guess is probably the right thing to do. Yeah, considering you've got the Panigale V4 and the V2, now it makes sense having the Multistrada V4 and V2, it, they do roll about nice these bikes, feels so stable. But yeah, it is a cold day, it is a brand new bike with brand new tyres, I do want to get a little bit of heat in them. Yeah, quick shifters, smooth, down, yeah look, it's like it's like butter really um do get a few people come down the shop asking about these bikes and that and people kind of think oh the 950 which is now the v2 they think oh smaller bike it'll be smaller but it's actually the tallest out of them all the multi -shiders. so basically the 1260 is the shortest the v4 is i think they're the same seat height but basically because the seat's wider it's actually you're a bit more on your toes with it but a 950 for me if you haven't seen the 950 video i've done i am on tiptoes on that bike and this because of the thinner seat again you can actually get a lot more of your foot on the ground and they do do um, a lowering kit for this as well and that reduces it by 40 mil which is loads i don't know who's been tarmacking these roads but they ain't never done it before. The things I do for you guys, man, <laughs> it is freezing out. But luckily, I'm sitting on the Multistrada, so the inside of my legs and my bum's nice and warm. So yeah, now if I stop. Like one footed, I am flat foot on the ground now. Look, so it's quite amazing really that this bike is only 10 mil lower. Shows how much the width of the seat does. So when you're looking at a bike and you're thinking, oh, that seat height's this, and this, that seat height is that, realistically, it's how wide the seat is. These bikes are so nice and stable and smooth.
as always it's got plenty of grunt I mean you're not even really whacking the throttle or nothing just like sort of half throttle through the quick shifter it's all you really need uh, I probably should have told the guys that I was going out on the V2 um, still they'll be all right So another thing they've done was to make it easier to get into neutral and that definitely happens. They're just so easy to move about these bikes. All you guys that have kind of ridden these 950 and thought nah it's too big. Look at this fruity box. Just great. Um, this is definitely different. But as always what like Ducati do when they've got a model and you bring out a new one and you think oh it's just some little upgrades they just always make the bike better all these little differences just add up it's a bit windy out here as well got a, a look at the sea over there look and you know these multi shoulders the confidence that they give you when you're riding they're just brilliant I'll tell you what I had trouble last time now this is a bit of a test last time I rode the 950 or not last time I rode it because I've ridden them loads of times I literally had trouble oh I don't go down there today I literally had trouble um look at that I had trouble touching the floor to push the bike backwards luckily I had my daughter with me so I could push it backwards but like now I can do it fine on this one right let's have a look at this look at that hey eh? it does look nice it's fucking quite breezy though that if you've not ever ridden a multi strada 950 the 1260 or the v4 they are brilliant bikes like they're fast they handle so well, the quick shifters are awesome. This is a wintry day, it is cold. It's slippery. And they just give you confidence. The seat is really nice and comfy. Oh, look how it's gone dark, now it's getting darker, that's good. Man. It's always a worry when you hear that. Well, so that was a multi strider V2. It is freezing out there. <laughs> Feel my fingers. Well, so that was the first ride on the um, new V2S. Definitely the gearbox is a little different to the other one. I'm actually shivering out here because it is freezing cold. But um, now we've put a few miles on this, we will take it out when it's a little bit warm and have a proper go at a bike. But yeah, um, they are just brilliant bikes. As always, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If this is the kind of thing you're into all things bikes, then maybe think about hitting that subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks very much for watching. What do you do then the weekend? Well, I went to that place, didn't yeah. I? Why didn't you buy nothing? See any leather jackets or anything there? <laughs> you fancy? Yeah, loads of them. What sort of stuff did that there? I saw a very nice 1930s oil pump. You know, that you pump by hand. A few old petrol pumps and stuff like that. All the stuff you see on these salvage hunters. Sort of yeah. Thing. You know, old petrol cans and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Why didn't you buy any? Don't need any deal. I've got stuff like that. I don't need any more, really. Peat bulb load of stuff. Like what? Push bike. He needed another one. Why? Because he's only got 15. Yeah. Now we've got to go around Morrison's. I've got to get fags anyway. Get me some, will you? I'm going to start smoking. What do you want? What sort of fags do you want? Long one? I want, they're Spanish. I want Ducados. Right, they're made out of old uh, carpet. Rolled up carpet. Yeah. Or, um, oh, and different well. colour tips. Purple and pink and stuff. Um, Sobrani. They were called. Oh. Yeah, get them. How come you know so much about smoking? Oh, I've smoked loads of fags. No, you ain't. Have you ever smoked? No. 
Never. Never. You ever had long one lug of a I, I had a lug, but it made me dizzy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was being like cool, because I thought it looked cool, because yeah. you know, all the film stars do. James Dean, yeah. was he smoking? When, when he crashed. Probably right. got f ash in his eye. <laughs> <laughs> Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen probably had a fag or two, didn't he? Probably. Roger Moore. <laughs> Roger Moore smoked, didn't he, in the sun? Constantly. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, I was watching that Peaky Blinders and the geezer in that smokes constant. As soon as it cuts to him, he's like, well, opens up his little case, bag out. He's always smoking, no matter what. You need a case. Yeah, I could go have a cigarette case. Yeah, they were cool. Why didn't you see one of them at the automotive jumble? I didn't thing? see one, but that is cool because it's the whole idea, isn't it, of, yeah. of doing it and yeah. it's coolness. Uh, is that still cool to have like, a silver case for your yeah, fags? Yeah, yeah. They had a little band across But it seems a bit stupid that you've got to go and open your packet of fags and put them all in it. You've got to load it up. Did they not buy cigarettes loose then? Probably. We used to buy cigarettes course. loose around our local office. Yeah. Sell them to the kids cheap. <laughs> I remember fag sweets. While you were you smoking them, you could put in your candy teeth as well, yeah. couldn't you? Why, why don't you start in the videos like having <laughs> candy? I might do. That'd be classic. <laughs> You'll stand there talking with a candy with just a little red tip on the end I want of one of them, yeah. Yeah, I might try and find you some. You what? You could get them from one of those old English sweet shops, couldn't I you? I thought he was going to say an old English old sheep dog. Sheep dog. <laughs> it's fucking raining already, look. It's getting on my I was going to have a test ride. <laughs> I might give you one a little booster thing and see how that went. I need like. that, yeah. I have to be on tiptoes, Fuck really, off. to You're see You're not much taller than me. Well, I'd look, now you're about my height, but... You want it to actually, yeah. I've got to change these boots because you all took the piss out of them. Why do you get so conscious of stuff? Oh, look at this, man. You know what you need to do test riding that? You left jacket. I'm not going out again today now, am I? I'm going to have to order a breakfast now. That rage made me hungry. <laughs>